Hi, I'm Dean Hanley, owner of DeansCards.com. Today we're talking about collecting sports cards. Now we're going to talk about determining the value of a sports card collection. Sports cards peaked in value in the early 1990s, have declined a little bit, and have been steady ever since. The first thing to realize, or first thing to determine, when you're looking to value your cards is what era your cards from. The most valuable era is going to be pre-war or pre-World War II cards. These cards are probably the most scarce to find and a lot of them are in rough condition but they're valuable in just about any condition. The next era of cards is vintage sports cards. These cards are generally from the 50s and 60s and have a good value. They are condition sensitive which means a card in pristine condition is going to be worth 5, 10, 15, or 20 times a card in beat up condition. The next era of cards is semi-vintage cards or cards from the 70s. These cards have more of a modest value. They have to be in very near perfect condition to have value for collectors. And then the most recent era is the era of modern cards. These are from 1980 and newer. These cards pretty much need to be in perfect condition and sometimes they'll have a very limited value. Once you determine what era your card is from, the main factor to consider is then the condition of the card. Cards in pristine condition like this one are worth anywhere from 5, 10, 15, or 20 times a card in beat up condition like this one here. And this can be very subtle differences to the non-collector's eye. Another great reference for prices are hobby price guides. There's quite a few of these on the market and can be found at your local bookstore. The internet is also a great resource for card prices. Not only can you see price guides online, but you can also see what dealers are actually selling the cards for and what cards have sold for in the past. One word of caution about price guides, the prices you'll see inside the guide are for cards in near mint or near perfect condition. This is very unrealistic for vintage cards because most vintage cards, maybe less than 2% of cards from the 50s and 60s actually grade this high because of centering, gum stains, print effects in the card. So take these prices with a grain of salt. So that leaves us with the question, what can I actually get for my vintage sports card collection? The answer is, it's worth exactly what somebody's willing to pay. I would recommend seeking a professional and getting actual bids on the collections. So that's what you need to know about valuing your sports card collection. Next up, we're gonna talk about selling a sports card collection.